Hey guys, Daxo9 here. Today, I'll be showing you how to hack Splatoon 1 with JGeckoU. Before we get started, I'd just like to say that I do not support hacking online. Private battles are alright, but just be a nice person and respect the other people playing online, alright? Anyways, what you'll need for this guide is a homebrewed Wii U. You can find the guide to homebrew your Wii U at wiiu.guide. The link is also in the description. An SD card or a micro SD card with an adapter. Around 32 gigabytes or up. A computer that runs a relatively modern version of Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. I'll be showing guides for all three later in the video. Java version 8 or above, or permissions to install Java on the computer that you're using. 7-zip or a similar app like WinRAR or the default Windows unzipping program. An SD card reader for that PC, and an internet connection that both your PC and your Wii U share. It's imperative that you follow that guide to humble your Wii U to the end, or this probably won't work. Check the links in the description for the recommended guide, which right now is wiiu.guide. Also, do not follow video guides for homebrewing your Wii U. They're usually outdated. I'll be starting the guide with Windows, but you can check the chapters or the timestamps in the description for your OS. First off, you'll need to check if you have Java on your computer. To check if you have Java, open Control Panel on your computer. In Windows 10, go to the Start menu and type in Control Panel, and open up the option that looks like this. In Windows 7, Control Panel should be located in the Start menu, and in Windows 8 or 8.1, you can go to the Start screen and search Control Panel. I'm going to go ahead and check if I have Java in my installation of Windows 11. If you already have Java, you can go ahead and skip to the next step. So what we want to do in Windows 11 is go down here and type in Control Panel. Kind of misspelled that, but still got what I said. Then you want to go to Programs and Programs and Features. This should look very similar on Windows 10 and maybe Windows 8.1 and probably 7. But as we can see, I don't have Java on this, so what we want to do is go down to our preferred web browser, mine's Chrome, and go look up Download Java on Google. So you want to press this, Download Java for Windows. It recommends Java version 8, which should be good for JGecko U. Uh, if you have a newer version, it should work. But uh, it's just recommending us to use version 8 right now, so you want to press download Java. And as you can see, it has downloaded pretty fast, so I'm going to press on it. Allow it to make changes to your device. And press install. And now it has prompted that I have successfully installed Java. After we've installed Java, we can go back to search and type in control panel. We can go back to programs. We can already see that Java's control panel applet has been installed here. But we can also go to programs and features. And we can see that Java 8 update 351 has been installed. Next up, we're going to download TCP Gecko and JGecko U. Another disclaimer, I am not the creator or developer of these applications, so please do not go to the developers asking for help on my video. You can find TCP Gecko in the Homebrew App Store on your Wii U, but for this video, I'll just be going through the web interface. Right now I'm at the Homebrew App Store's link for TCP Gecko and at the GitHub page for JGecko U. First off, we're going to download TCP Gecko from the Humber App Store page. I'm going to be downloading it to my desktop for now. Then we're going to go over to the JGeckoU GitHub page and press download JGeckoU from here. Press the here. Wait a second. Then also download that. Occasionally, your antivirus may flag JGeckoU or JGeckoU's download page as a virus. The steps vary depending on what antivirus you have, but if you don't think you installed one, you probably have Windows Defender. If you're affected by your download being blocked, look up how to add a URL exception to your antivirus. The domain that's being blocked for me is raw.githubusercontent.com, so I recommend adding that as an exception temporarily to be able to download JGeckoU. JGeckoU's executable may also be flagged, so make an exception for that if necessary. Once you have both of these files downloaded, I recommend giving JGeckoU its own folder. So I have this on the desktop, so I'm going to drag it over to the JGeckoU folder I just made. Go ahead and open up your JGeckoU folder and right click on the jar file and press properties. As you can see, it says executable jar file dot jar and opens with the Java platform SE binary. We want to get out of that and then we want to try running it. See, it started and the tiles were successfully downloaded. Your antivirus may also flag JGeckoU servers as a threat, so make sure to look up how to add a URL exception to your antivirus if something relating to bullyweeplaza.website pops up. If this affects you, I recommend going into your antivirus and adding an exception for bullyweeplaza.website. Next, what you want to do is go to the Splatoon Hacks Pack on GitHub. This will be linked in the description. Also, I did not make these codes either, this person did, so don't go asking them for help. 
And what you want to do is press J G O U X M L, and you want to press A G M E zero one dot X M L. One thing that's fairly important is to check if you have file name extensions on in your Windows installation. For me, I just turned them off for example, so you can see that none of these have like .jar or .xml in them. So what you need to do is go to your file explorer, just any file explorer window, press view, and press file name extensions. That way you can actually see the extensions of each file. This one is .jar, this one is .xml. It's apparently different in Windows 11, I'll pull up an image on the screen to show you, but... This is what it is for most of the modern ish windows. All right, so once you get to this screen, you wanna press raw, then you'll see something like this. So you wanna right click on the page and press save as. This next part's fairly important, so don't skip it. Depending on which region you or your console is in, the file name for this file may be a little different. Mine currently is agme01.xml, and that is for North American consoles. So, depending on which region your console is in, it may be different. So, for Japan, it would be agmj01.xml, and for Europe, it would be agmp01.xml. Once you figure out your correct file name, you can go ahead and go to your JKOU folder, or if you have one, go to Codes, and Save. I already have it in there, so I'm just going to overwrite it. As long as you have one of these files that corresponds with your console's region, or you just have all three of these files with these file names, you should be good to go in terms of code. This is the part of the tutorial for macOS users. The first thing we need to do is check if you have Java installed. First, open up the System Preferences application. I'm not sure if you'll be able to do this on the latest version of macOS, which right now at the time of filming is macOS Ventura, as the settings menu has been overhauled in that version, and I do not have a machine to test it on besides my dad's main work machine, and I don't think he want me to be screwing around on his $2,000 main work machine. This also isn't my computer either, it's my dad's old one. Anyways, back to the tutorial. Check if there's a selection for Java. It should look something like this. If there is, you can go ahead and skip to the next part. If there's not, you will have to download Java. Apologies for the fan noises or lag, this computer gets really hot. Go to the Java All Operating Systems download page in the description, or just search up Java All OS on Google, and scroll down to the Mac OS X download, then press the link to download it. Then, navigate to the JKOU GitHub page in the description, and press download jkou.jar from here. Once you have the JKOU jar file, go ahead and make a new folder for it. This is not required, but strongly recommended. I'm just going to name mine jkou. Then, if you want, drag the jar file into the folder. Once you have jkou in the folder that you want it to be in, go ahead and right-click on it, press open. Then once this pops up, press open again. Wait a second. Then wait for all the stuff to pop up. Press OK here. You might have to press OK again on this tile successfully downloaded thing. Press OK. Press OK. Donate to this guy if you want. Not required, but still. Nice gesture. Then if you want to join the Discord server, you can press yes or no. I'm going to press no. If you need help with my tutorial, please don't ask them. Please ask me. Then you want to press codes. Then you should see something like this. You can go ahead and close JGECOU for now. Just make sure to go into the folder that you made for it, or the folder that it's in, and check for a codes folder. Next, go to the Splatoon Hacks Pack GitHub page in the description, press JGECOU XML, press AGME01.XML, then press RAW. Then it should come up with something like this. Go ahead and right-click the page and press Save As. If it shows up something like this, press the low down arrow, and then navigate to your JKOU folder. Depending on which region you or your console is in, the file name for this may be a little different. If you're in North America, it will be AGME01. If you're in Japan, it will be AGMJ01. And if you're in Europe, it will be AGMP01. I'm in North America, so I'm going to keep it at AGME01. So go to your codes and JKOU folder, or wherever you have JKOU, and press save. Alright, this is the part of the guide where I show how to use JKOU on Linux. I'll be using Ubuntu for this, although steps may be similar if you're using a Debian-based distro. Other types of distros may be different in terms of how you install stuff, but the main idea is to have Java installed and JKOU running. You'll also need to have some basic knowledge of Linux and or command line, so just an FYI. So, to check if you have Java already, you can just type in java-version. It would show something besides this if you had it installed, so to install it, you want to type in sudo apt install default jre 
then press Y to continue. Wait for it to do its thing. Then redo that Java dash version command to check. And as you can see, this has been installed. So then you want to go over to the jgecko.u page and download the jgecko.u.jar file. Go to the folder where your jgecko.u was downloaded. I recommend going and making your own folder for jgecko.u as it makes a lot of other folders and files. Go ahead and drag that into the jgecko.u folder. And then this will vary depending on what distro you have. So I'm just going to go with Ubuntu. You have to go right click it, press properties, permissions, and allow executing file as program. Check that. Press X. Right click it. Open with other application. And select. I meant to say open with whatever Java thing that comes up, but I guess I just forgot. As you can see, we actually finally got JGecko U to run. It took me actually a little bit to figure out how to get that to work. So then you can go ahead and close it and go back to that folder that you made for JGecko U or the folder that it's in. You will also need to download the codes. Since it's basically the same process for Windows and Linux, I've just decided to not do that part for the Linux tutorial to save some time. Here are the timestamps that you need to follow in order to put the codes in. Once you have your SD card pulled up, you want to double click on your zip file, and then once you see something like this, drag it over here and copy it to your SD card. Then double check if it's copied in by double clicking on Wii U, and then apps, then you'll see TCP Gecko in the folder somewhere, so it should look something like this. Then you can eject the SD card and put it into your Wii U. With your SD card pulled up, you want to double click on your zip file, and then once you see something like this, drag it over here and copy it to your... Once you see this screen, go ahead and note down the Wii U IP address that it provides, and then press A. Then wait for it to go back to the Wii U menu. While Splatoon is loading, go ahead and open up JGecko U again. Then, you see that Wii U IP address that you put down earlier? Go ahead and put that in, and press connect. Once connected, you can go ahead and choose the codes that you want to. I'm going to go ahead and just choose these random ones, so... Once you've chosen the codes that you want, go ahead and press send codes, and then go ahead and go back to your Wii U. Unfortunately, every single time I try to show the gameplay footage, Nintendo likes to come in uninvited with their intellectual property gavel and block my video. To avoid this, I'll just be uploading the part where I show the gameplay to a different video linked in the description. It sucks, I know, but it's literally the only feasible way that I can show that this guide works at all. A couple things I would like to reiterate though, if you have any problem, issue, complaint, or something of that nature, make sure to comment down below and I'll try my best to help out. Also, please, do not, and I repeat, do not go to the developers of the software used in this guide to ask for help with my guide. They are not involved in this guide whatsoever, besides making the software of course, and I don't want them to be inconvenienced by this. Also related, thanks so much to all of the developers that provided the software for this guide. It wouldn't be possible for me to make this without their work. Finally, please, don't use this in public battles online, you're just being a jerk to people that actually want to have fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.